In the far north of South Sudan, along the west bank of the Nile River lies Tonga, a small but strategic town that is currently under the control of opposition groups. Like many parts of South Sudan, the lives of thousands of people from Tonga and surrounding areas have been disrupted as a result of fighting between armed government forces and the opposition. A team from the United Nations mission in South Sudan visited the area for three days to get a first-hand understanding of the security and humanitarian situation. It was important for us to be in Tonga because we have not spent any length of time there. It's in an opposition-controlled area. Uh, and we wanted to see what the needs were, talk with the local community, find out what was going on. Around the small town, the usual site of makeshift shelters, made from terpaline sheeting bearing humanitarian agency logos, is nowhere to be seen, a sign that aid has not yet reached the area. Many civilians were forced to flee their homes and take shelter in UN protection sites across South Sudan and refugee camps in neighboring countries when a second wave of fighting erupted in Tonga last April. But calm has since returned. Local authorities say that the area has been stable, with no reported fighting since the signing of cessation of hostilities agreement between the two warring factions. And as a result, many civilians who had fled are returning home to start afresh. The problem is that there is nothing to come back to. We are lacking so many things, especially when we talk about the humanitarian crisis here. Uh, we don't have uh, food items. There's no food for the civilian here. We are lacking uh, health service. Then education, education facility, we don't have it. We've seen we have the, the structure of the school, which are in place, but uh, lack of uh, teaching material. Uh, coming to the side of the hospital also, we have the hospital structure, but it's here we don't have uh, medicines, and there's no doctors. Uh, here also, we, we are next to the river, but uh, there's no clean drinking water in this area. Then hygienic also is a problem because uh, people have no latrines because of lack of tools. So this is the issue we are facing here. The UN mission, together with humanitarian partners, are looking to see how best to address the needs of these vulnerable people. However, humanitarian agencies may face some serious access barriers given Tonga is essentially an island surrounded by water, with only a few narrow roads bridging the town. Despite the challenges, there is hope that the second round of talks during the high-level revitalization forum in Addis Ababa will bring about peace, making it possible for civilians to rebuild their lives and restore the country. Everybody in South Sudan, whether you're in Tonga or in Malakal or in the Equatorias, everybody wants peace. And what we really need to see from the leaders and the armed groups that are there in Addis Ababa, our willingness to step over their red lines, to ignore their red lines and work together in the interests of the, of the country and not their own specific interests, either personal or um, the, uh, their party or their armed group. We must see that and if we don't see that, then we will be back to where we are and the, the misery and the suffering will continue. We want to be able to give people in South Sudan some real hope that change is coming. As talks draw to a close, only time will tell if a clear path to a peaceful and more stable South Sudan will be forged.